Hi folks, welcome to Revision, and welcome to this week's ESO Price Guide. So let's get right into it. Alright, from last week we've seen a lot of big changes um, on prices. Um, so we're going to take a look at it and see how all the event stuff impacted prices for this week. Uh, first off, it looks like uh, temper alloys have taken a big beating on the market. They are going as cheap as 3.9k, um, but the range to sell it would be in the 3.9k to 4.5k range. So, tempers almost on par with Drew's wax. So, keep an eye out for that. Uh, Drew's wax is going between 3.1k and 4k, depending on which mournhole trader you're in or what region you're in. Could do better, could do worse. Really depends. Rossins have pretty much remained the same uh, from last week, anywhere from 6.9k to 7.7k. Fortified Nerncrux, not much change, 1k to 2k range. Uh, Potent Nerncrux has taken a big uptick. It is now in the 10k to 11k range. I'm guessing last week there wasn't too much farming in Craiglore, so we're seeing the prices come up now. However, I expect that to fall back down with this new event that is going on now. That gives a double known bonus everywhere. So you're looking at a lot of people going back to Craiglore to farm. So... Watch the price on that, because it's probably going to take a bit of a dip after this week. Platinum Refined, uh, for a stack of that, it's going anywhere between 7.5k to 9k is the optimal price range. And for the blue plating, uh, we're seeing prices between 9k to 10k. Purple, pl purple plating took a little bit of a beating. It is now in the 26k range to 30k range. I would not recommend selling at 30k range because the buyer wants it underneath that price range. Yellow plating, ugh, it's brutal, folks. This really took a beating now. It is down to the 79k range to 81k range, so... Big drop in price on this. So for those of you that are trying to get the most out of it, I hate to break it to you, but not looking too good on those yellow platings. Perfect row. I'm seeing some weird and bizarre things on this. It's The range I'm going to peg at is between 15k to 20k range. But I'm seeing some ridiculous prices out in Mournhold that have jacked it up between 20 to 30k. And I'm almost thinking that people are anticipating that there's going to be a massive uh, rush for people to develop their characters more and to want to do some EXP uh, boosting for their characters. So I'm thinking that is maybe the justification for the price hike, but, you know, the market doesn't seem to want to budge either, so... The true range, like I said, is between 15k to 20k range, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could sell it for more than 20k right now because of the weirdness going on on that. Same thing with Ethereal Dust. That has gone up as well. With the cheapest I saw in Mournhole was 155k to 175k, the range on that. So another opportunity on Ethereal Dust. Uh, as for the... Uh, EXP potions, the 50% one, not much change, uh, going between 4k to 5k. Uh, the 100% one, between 13k to 15k. And the 150% one, this has gone up a little bit because of the pricing on Ethereal Dust. It's going between 37k and 40k, but not a whole lot of movement um, on this. So, But keep an eye on the prices on potions. Um, specifically the perfect row as well, because it is a weird market right now on that. Now, for my pick of the week, since again, the Halloween event I think is coming up on the 21st, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from what I'm hearing, but, um, uh, my pick of the week is the Sugar Skull recipe. Um, cheapest I saw in Mournhole, 99k. If you got it, dump it, because after the 21st, 
it's going to drop like a rock. So make sure you sell it off. All right, folks, that concludes my ESO price guide update for this week. If you like this video, please hit the like button and become a subscriber. I put out videos on Elder Scrolls Online each and every week. And I'll see you next time.